Hello and welcome back to our continuing series of short but really awesomely cool video tutorials on Corel's Video Studio X3. Today I want to show you how you can use Corel's Paint Shop Pro Photo to create your very own custom mask frame that you can then import and use in Video Studio. If you're not familiar with mask frames in Video Studio, they allow you to put a decorative picture frame around any overlaid video. Let me show you how this works. Launch Video Studio Pro X3 into the Advanced Editor. Mask frames in Video Studio are located in the Overlay Options area and can only be accessed when you have a video clip in any video track other than the first main track and therefore can only be applied to an overlay clip. So let's put a video clip in the main timeline and one the same length or shorter in an overlay track underneath it. Double click on the video in the overlay track brings you up to your overlay track options. Click the mask and chroma key choice and then click apply overlay options. Under the type drop down choose mask frame. And you notice right away exactly what's happening here. The way it works is that similar to masking in an image editing program, whatever you see is white is opaque. Whatever is black is transparent, allowing you to see something in a layer beneath it through that black portion. In this case, the clip in the main video track. Shades of gray will allow you to see varying degrees of the underlying image or video. The closer that gray is to black, the more that will show through. All right, let's jump over to Paint Shop Pro X3 and create a bitmap that we can then use to import into Video Studio. If you don't own a copy of Paint Shop Pro Photo X3 and would like to try this out, go to Corel's website and you can download a free, fully functional 30-day trial version. If you have an older version of Paint Shop, you can probably still do this technique. So I'm in version X3 and it launches me first into the organizer, so I will need to go to the full editor via this tab in the upper right corner. Go to File, New. In the dialog box, choose these settings, Width of 800, Height 600, raster background and make sure the background color is black. Click on the color chip to set that color. And click OK. In the preset shapes tool in the tool palette on the left hand side choose symmetrical shape. Then choose the star shape in the tools property bar near the top. Draw out your star and use the pick tool to resize it to fill the page. You can of course use any shape you want, but this is my example. Choose white as your foreground color in the materials palette. If your materials palette is not showing, hit the F6 key. Choose a white color with a color chip on the top, that's your foreground color. You can either choose it by clicking on it or simply choose it from the white chip here. Use the flood fill tool and use white to dump into your star. Go to File, Save. Choose Bitmap at the top of the list. Name your image and save it to an easy to find place such as your desktop. Agree to any dialog box that pops up and let it go. While we're still here, let's make another one that's a little more creative. Choose your pick tool, delete the star and grab any of the brushes from the last tool in the toolbar on your left. I will choose the oil brush. Make sure your foreground is still set to white. Choose a nice large brush size from this slider here and just paint anything you want to. And do a save as so as not to overwrite your original file. again to my desktop. Let's return to Video Studio Pro and remember if you're not here yet where the mask and overlay options are double click your overlay clip make sure you're in the attributes tab select mask and chroma key click apply overlay options and from the type drop down choose mask frame and this list should show up. See the plus mark over here to the bottom right of the mask choices? Click that and find either of the two mask frames you just created and click open. Agree to the dialog box and your new mask frame is immediately applied to your overlay clip. 
Okay, import the other one. Pretty cool, huh? Here, I'll make it a little bit larger so you can see it. There we go. Now, if you don't like these, you can also delete them by clicking the minus sign here. Is that awesome or what? You can follow these basic steps to make a mask frame in just about any graphics program, including Corel Painter, where you can get extra creative. So, try it yourself and have fun. We'll see you in the next Corel video tutorial.